Hey viewers, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Love Cat on guitar by The Cure. So this one's for beginners to intermediate players. There's a lot of bar chords in it and there's some ninth and seven chords. They can be a little bit tricky and will be coming right up the neck as well there. Now we'll also be playing the piano parts on guitar. Don't forget if you enjoy this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell for songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you have any problems, let me know. So let's make a start. So with our intro, we're going to start on our A minor bar chord. So 5th fret on the E string, 7th fret on the A and the D, 5th fret on the G, B and E. It's going to be all down strums and we're going to use a staccato feel so we're stopping after each chord we play. Now we don't play on the 1 and then we have and 2 and 3 and 4 and on the and we're coming back to a G bar chord so 3rd fret on the E string, 5th fret on the A and the D, 4th fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B and the E and we're playing that on 4 and once. Then just slide that chord back 2 frets to our F chord there and we're not going to play on the 1 again so we're going to play on the 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and on the and come back up to the G again so sliding up 2 frets play that once and we do that through two times. So let me play that slowly for you. Remember we're not playing on the one on the A minor or the F. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. And let's do that one more time up to speed two times and this is just our intro. And then from there the bass plays for four bars and we don't do anything and that's our intro there. So the verse is nearly exactly the same as our intro except we'll be playing on the one this time and there's also an A minor seven in there as well so we have the fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the A string, on the D string we have five, five and this time on the B string we're going to add the eight and five on the E string. So an A minor 7. Now this pattern is going to be a little bit different here as well. We're going to play the A minor and we're going to go down, up, down, 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 down. And then to the G and the same strumming pattern on the F. Back to the G again. So we do that once. Let's try that slowly first. And up to speed. Now the second time we play it we do the A minor for the down, up, down and then another two downs and then we go to the A minor 7 for three downs. So back to the G and the F stay same. So that's the only change in that part there so we do that slowly. just does the A minor, G, F another two times. So let me play that verse up to speed for you. That's our first verse there and from there we're going into our pre-chorus. So for our pre-chorus we're coming up to a C bar chord so 8th fret on the E string, 10th fret on the A and the D, 9th fret on the G and 8 on the B and the E and we're going to keep the strumming pattern the same as the verse. We're going to do a down, up, down, down, down then we're going to go to a C9 so we just take our little finger off the D string and place it on the 10th fret on the E string and do the downs on that. So slowly. And up to speed. Then we're going to a D minor bar chord. So this time a 10th fret on the E, 12th fret on the A and the D, 
10th fret on the G, B and E and the pattern stays the same but this time we're playing it down, up, down, down and then we're playing the D9 so we're just placing our little finger on the 12th fret on the E string two times then we're going to a plus 9 so just move it forward one fret on the 13th fret two times and then back to the D minor 9 there so we have the minor 9 this time the first one was just the C9 so slowly Now this is the first part of the pre-chorus and the strumming pattern changes a little bit for the second one. So first time through. Now the next time through, we're playing exactly the same chords with the same timing. The strumming pattern is going to change though. We're going down, up, down, down, down. And then we do the same on the C9. Down, 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 down. The D minor. Now this time we're going to do the down, down the 9, D minor 9, plus 9, and back there to the 9. So we're down, up, down. So this time the strumming pattern is down, up, down, down, down. And we just keep that going. So slowly. And up to speed, that second part of the pre-chorus. that pre-chorus all together now with the two different strumming patterns. And that's our pre-chorus and from there we go to our chorus and this is basically the same pattern as the verse with the same strumming pattern, the A minor, G, F, back to the A minor so we do that two times so our chorus and then from our chorus we have our verse and that's exactly the same as our chorus we do that four more times there so this time it's the same as the first verse but no A minor 7 in there we're just playing the A minor G to F. So with our pre-chorus, the chords are exactly the same as our other pre-chorus, but the strumming pattern changes now. We're going to do a down, up, mute, up, and then we just repeat that. So we're just playing the C chord. And that's a strumming pattern we're using. So let me play that pre-chorus slowly for you. our pre-chorus this time exactly the same chords we're just using a different strumming pattern so let's do that one more time up the speed and that's our pre-chorus so then from there we're going to our A minor we're just going to play that once and hold for one and two and three and four and on the end we go back to the G and then we play the F and hold that the same one and two and three and four then we go back to the A minor again and just hold that one and two and three and four and and then back to the F one and two and three and four and then from there we go back to the A minor and we use the same strumming pattern we did in the verse down up down 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 our G F G and then again we hold that A minor one and two and three and four on the G and and then F one and two and three and four and so let me play that part for you
And then from there, we just go back to our verse. We do that exactly the same as we did our first verse with the A minor, G, F, and our strumming pattern. And then from there, we go into our bridge. So for our bridge, we're going to start on our E minor bar chord. So 7th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D and the G, 8th fret on the B, and 7 on the E. Now our strumming pattern is going to change a little bit here again. We're going to go down, up, down, 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 up, down. So it's just a count of four again. So. Then we're going to our F bar chord there. So we have the 8th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the D, G and B and 8 on the E and we do the same strumming pattern. And we just do that two times. Let me play that now. And that's our bridge there. Then from there we're just going to A minor, we're playing it and holding it for a four count, one and two and three and four and back to our F, same one and two and three and four and back to A minor, one and two and three and four and then we're going to an A minor nine here and we're going to do a there, so just our strumming pattern as normal, A minor and jump back to a minor there, so sorry, A minor 9, and then jump back to the A minor. So we're just holding the A minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, F, A minor, and then L. And then we just go back to our normal pattern, A minor for a bar, and G, F, G, and we do that two times. Hold the A minor for a bar, one and two and three and four and, and hold the F for a bar, one and two and three and four and. So then from there, the strumming pattern will change a little bit. It's the same one we'll be using in the bridge. We're going to do our A minor. Then we're going to do an A minor nine. So just put your little finger on the seventh fret on the E string. So we have. Then we're going to an F bar chord. Now we're going to go to an F6, so we're just going to bar the bottom E string on the 10th fret and so let me play that slowly for you and you do that two times. change a little bit we're going to play down up down down up down down up down down up down now the same chords a minor down 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 a minor seven down up down down up down to our f down up down f6 down up down then we're going to add the major seventh in so take your little finger and place it on the 12th fret down up down there so we have Back to our F6, now we just go back to that first line again. So then from there we're just going to our E minor bar chord and holding it for half a bar, so one and two and our F bar chord half a bar, three and four and, and do that another two more times. One, two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and, and then to finish off, we can just play power chords, we're just gonna move up the neck. And finish on the A, so I'm starting on the E power chord, open E string, second fret on the A string, then going to the F power chord, first fret on, the E, third fret on the A, and then just moving up a fret each time there, till I get to the B, and then finishing on the A, and I'm just doing it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, palm muting. To finish off. The bass
bass is just sort of sliding up there. So one and two and three and one more. So that's all the parts to the song there. It's not too hard. We've got some tricky chords with the D minor nine and the plus nine there and the C and the nine there. But stick at it, you'll get it. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.